We got this question from a subscriber that I have completed the roofing stage of my project. What do I do next? First of all, congratulations for reaching such a critical part of your building project. But it tells me you are not working with a contractor and you didn't work with a quantity surveyor because if you did, then you would know the next part of your building project. However, let me answer these questions. After your roofing, there are certain key and critical things that you need to do. Number one, especially if you are building in Ghana, you want to make sure that you secure the house before the rest of the work can come in. Let me explain. When you complete your roofing, usually you want to do your plumbing, your electric house, etc. But don't dare, if you are in Ghana, do electric house without first ensuring you have a burglar proof or doors and windows that you can lock. And so typically for me, on all the building projects we work on, the first thing we want to do is to put security doors at the entrance and also put burglar proof at the windows to ensure that nobody is able to break in. Then you can also add your glazing windows, etc. However, before you can do any of those, you probably want to plaster just the frames of the windows and the doors so that you can fit your burglar proof and your windows and also fit your security doors if you are using security doors. If you are not using security doors and you are using normal doors, you still want to do that framing so that you can put your doors that for me is the next critical step now after you've been able to at least put a level of security on the doors and windows the next phase is going to be wiring a lot of wiring works now depending on the kind of power source you want if you are running solar you'd want to do the solar panels and the wiring that goes with it if you are doing the grid like ecg you'd want to do the wiring that's going to go to all the rooms, going to determine where the switches are, the sockets are, the lights, the bells, everything. Then again, you are going to do the heating and the cooling, so things like air conditioning, if you are going to do things like, you know, a water heater and all that, all those are going to come in. And typically, this part of the building project involves a lot of cutting of the walls, especially how houses are built in Ghana. So avoid chiseling the property any person who comes and they bring a chisel and a hammer please tell the person to pack their goods somewhere and go you want a professional who has a machine for cutting because it reduces the structural pressure that you put on the building project when you are doing bang 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 with a hammer and a chisel you are definitely going to affect the building in one way or the other and so you want to avoid that bang 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 because even as you are doing the hammer and the chisel, you are feeling the vibrations and all that. It may not appear today, but in a few years down the line, the results of the bang, bang, bang will show up in your building project. It is weakening the molecules in your cement, your mortar and all that. So you want to avoid that and get a cutter to neatly cut where the pipes are going to pass for your electricals. Really, really important. One mistake I see a lot of people making is that they consider the security of their homes later after they have completed the house security must be part of your planning and design process what do i mean you see people completing their roofing doing their wiring electricals plumbing etc plastering their walls painting then they say ah i need security fence i need cctv etc then they have to come and cut the walls walls that you've plastered and painted though waste a lot of money plaster again paint and so i would recommend that you get a security expert before you even begin to do your plastering right after you do your roofing to come and then also give you advice on electric fence cctv video doorbell gate automation and more now our good friends at Edmark security are one of the best people that we have seen in the industry when it comes to quality electric fence, video doorbells, CCTV, gate automation. Their prices are competitive, their customer service is excellent, and the products that they use are good quality and very durable. They also provide free after sales service for an extended period of time. And guess what? They are running a 5% discount promotion from today that you are seeing this video to the end of March. All you need to do is to mention that you're coming from Africa Building Hub and they are going to give you that 5% discount. And the reason why you need to do all these wiring works is because you don't want to do that plastering and later come and be cut. It. it is very, very painful to like plaster, then you come and cut, you go and buy cement, do mortar and then come and dress it again. And so you also need to plan this for things like your kitchen, right? 
where is your microwave going to be if you are going to use a microwave if you are using like an induction cooker an electric cooker all these appliances your fridge your deep freezer where are they going to be these items need different power sources they need different electrical cables they need different switches and so you need to make sure that you cater for it plan properly and that's why i feel working with an architect or a contractor from day one it's really key to avoid some of these mistakes i see people like they've painted then we'll come and cut the walls because we need to do something maybe on solar come and cut the walls because now oh where will we put the microwave we never made you know provision for it or you want to do a borehole you want to do a pump and so all these things need an outlet right and so you are going to end up multiple cuts multiple dressings if you've done even like the first level coats and all that you're just going to waste a lot of money and for me wasting money is something i hate and i try to prevent it on projects that i work on so after you've done your solar your wiring and all these things you are also going to do your plumbing so the plumbing typically for your toilets your sinks your kitchen your bathrooms if you are going to use a biodigester you are going to use a manhole system whatever system you need to do the internal plumbing and then you also need to do the external plumbing who told you building is cheap building is super expensive and after the roofing stage, that's where the real work begins. And many a times, the cost of any of these things I'm talking about, eh, when they come, it's not less than 10,000 Ghana cities, even for a half plot, right? So if they come wiring the materials and labor, more than 10K. If they come for plumbing, more than 10,000 cities. Solar, they're actually 60,000, 80,000, 100,000, 200,000. After you've done all the cutting for your plumbing and then your wiring and you've fixed everything, the wires, the piping for the wires and the plumbing, the pipes and all that, then you can now plaster so that you are not going to do any further cutting. After you plaster, you probably want to do like your plaster boards and then your POP if that's the kind of thing you are into. Or else you need to consider a ceiling, right? So some people will do TNG, some people will do plywood and all that. So let me know what you prefer for your ceiling. Is it plaster board, POP, TNG, plywood? Let me know in the comments below. Then next, you want to do your Andre works and probably your first coat. And after that, you consider putting your internal doors, your tiles. And once you put your tiles, next you want to look at your fittings and fixtures. That is, you want to look at your toilets, your basins, your kitchen cabinets and all that. Beautiful things that enable you to actually live in the house, right? So if you want to do kitchen cabinets, kitchen sinks, the bathroom, the sets, the taps and all that really really important this is the time then the next thing that you want to do is to do your switches and your sockets usually last like after you've done your painting and all because though professional painters would put like masking tapes over the switches and sockets many a time some still end up on your switches and sockets and your door frames and also you want to do some of these things last so you do your switches your sockets you put your light bulb and then you also connect your electricity you will notice I didn't talk about water because I feel that borehole drilling or pump or access to water is one of the first things that you need to do at the start of your project. Now, there are about five other things that you need to do at the start of your project, which a lot of people don't do. And I've highlighted all of them in this video over here. So make sure to click this video and I'll see you over there. Thanks, Bibri.